Hello friends, this is Ricky Chadda here. Today's video is again on a request made by many of you all. And this video, I am making it into two part, a English version and a Hindi version. So let us start with the video. Today's video, as the title says, Whenever you run into a dasha of Shani Dev, that is Saturn, which is for 19 years, what are the effects or what are the combinations that we should look for just to know whether this particular dasha is going to be beneficial or is it going to be struggleful or is going to be give, or is going to be neutral for you? There are some rules there are some principles that we need to follow just to understand that what can we expect when this dasha if it is running for you or it's going to start for you or if you look it into look into your past if you had this dasha was that dasha good or bad but as I always told you and I am of a, a very firm believer that Shani Dev's Dasha or Antar Dasha or Sarasati period is always a teaching time it's a time to learn new lessons is to introspect understand the karmas So, I have written some points on this board. I just want to share this 18 points that I am going to mention in this. And those who are familiar with the basics of astrology and those who are not, even for them, I am going to uh, be talking about trying to make it as simple as possible for you to understand so friends uh, if you look at this board I have mentioned over here Saturn's Dasha and its effects right the first point that I am mentioning over here is Saturn Mahadasha or Antar Dasha if it is beginning or happening to be before the age of 36 that means you you are still not 36 definitely this dasha is going to be struggleful there will be a lot of blockages even if shani dev is good in your chart it is in a favorable position even then if it is before the age of 36 it's going to be struggleful second point the second rule i would say Saturn is as the sixth dasha, which means in your life there are dashas in the sequence. So, if your Shani dasha falls as the dasha of the sixth planet, which means all people born in the dasha of Surya or Sun, please understand this, then definitely what will happen? So, it is first is Sun, then it is Moon. Then it is Mangal, then it is Rahu, and then Jupiter, and sixth is going to be the Dasha of Shani Dev. A very strong and beneficial time for you. Now, your, even if the planet is not good, even if Shani Dev is not very good, but still you will see the result is going to be somewhere favorable for you. Third rule is Saturn as a fourth Dasha. If Saturn is the fourth Dasha, in the, like in this case, it is the sixth Dasha. If it is the fourth dasha, so all people born in Mars Ma, Mahadasha, okay, which is the case with me also. Bad even if the even if Saturn is well placed or it is strong. It is opposite to what I said in point number two. This is the third point. Fourth point is Saturn's Mahadasha, MD means Mahadasha, Mahadasha, after the age of 56, if anybody has got uh, 
has Dasha of Shani Dev after the age of 56. I'm sorry to say this, but then normally it will kill you unless your karmas and your deeds are good, which means you can have a very long life, but for that your karma should be very good. Fifth is the fifth rule is Saturn's conjunction, Yuti we say conjunction with Mars or Rahu. So Saturn is sitting with Rahu or with Mars within the eight degrees, that piece, the closeness between the two planets, whether it is Mars or Rahu, if it is within the eight degrees, will give very bad result or so the results are very bad. Sixth rule says Saturn in the 12th house, if Saturn in your D1 chart is in the 12th house, 12th house in separative sign. Now which are, which are the separative sign? All fire signs that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius will always bring you down. It's a big downfall in your life. So if your life was going good, you will see a break. You will see that things are not falling in place and there is a downfall. The seventh rule says Saturn is bad in the first, fourth, eighth, twelfth house. D1 chart. If it is in the first, fourth, eighth, twelfth house, unless the planet Saturn is exalted. So if it is in Libra or it is in its own house, which means Capricorn or Aquarius. Eighth rule says Saturn gives mischievous, very mischievous result. You see over here, very mischievous result, which means sometime it's going to be good, then bad. Again, good, then bad. So it is a roller coaster ride for you. In Mercury sign, that means any of the sign which belongs to Mercury, which is Gemini and Virgo, then Saturn will give you a very uh, mischievous result. I'm talking about the, uh, this particular topic is about Mahadasha of Shani Dev. The best result, the ninth rule says the best result of Saturn happens if Saturn in your D1 chart is in the third house, sixth house and 11th house. Also in the 10th house, but it will cause a lot of delays in your career unless Saturn is in its own sign or into exaltation. So Saturn is good in the 3rd, 6th and 11th. It is going to be good in the 10th also, but it will cause delays in your career unless it is into the 10th house is either Capricorn or Aquarius or Libra. So own sign or exaltation. The 10th rule says, here you can see the 10th rule now. Saturn in 9th house, Saturn in 9th house aspected, aspected by Jupiter or conjuncted with Jupiter in a good sign, even with Mercury and Venus. So Saturn is sitting in the 9th house and the house that it is sitting is aspected by Jupiter or it is sitting with Jupiter or Mercury or Venus right? and Saturn is into a good sign, a sign which where Saturn is not very agitated. Saturn when in exact, this is the 11th rule, Saturn when in exact degree of the ascendant, that means your ascendant or Lagna has got a degree, you know each house has got 30 degrees. If the Saturn degree and the Lagna degree is almost exact, okay, will give you very long life, but you will have a lot of diseases also. Understand this. Twelfth, this is a very important point. Sarasati is very stressful. We all know Sarasati is very stressful. If Saturn is it's more stressful if Saturn is 5 degrees plus or minus from moon, from moon. Please check which house Saturn rules for moon, from the moon, sorry, from the moon or Lagna. I'll give you an example. Taurus is your Lagna. Suppose Taurus, number 2 is written in the first house. Taurus is your Lagna. 
then the ninth and the tenth house will be ruled by Saturn. So you have to check whether Saturn Sarasati is stressful or no, not by looking if Saturn is very close to Lagna, uh, uh, sorry, is very close to Moon, and also check which house it rules from the Lagna as well as the Moon sign also. This is important. When Saturn is exactly 180 degrees, that means exactly opposite. 180 degrees is opposite. When Saturn is exactly 180 degrees opposite to Sun and it is retrograde. I have written over here retrograde. Saturn is retrograde. That means Vakri and it is exactly opposite to Sun, Surya. Good results can be expected in Saturn's Mahadasha. Rule 14 says Saturn is opposite to Sun that is 180 degrees in 17 axis. 1 is your first house, 7. Okay. Marriage would be late or you will not get married. So either it is a very late marriage or you will not get married. Or if you get married, it would be after the age of 42 and plus. This also is the case with many people. 15th point, Saturn is very agitated or irritated in Aries, Cancer, Leo and Scorpio. So in this sign, Saturn is very, very uh, irritated. Okay, You will see delays and you will see a lot of struggles. Saturn plus Ketu. So if Saturn and Ketu are together, especially in the same nakshatra also. So same sign and same nakshatra. It is bad for career unless aspected by a benefic planet. But if it is aspected by a benefic planet, then you can say, okay, it's giving some result. 17th point. If moon or lagna is Venus sign, that means if your in your horoscope, if you look at the D1 chart, if your Lagna or Ascendant is Taurus or Libra, because then Saturn becomes your Yogkarak planet. So you will see good rise in career and very good result. <clears throat> if Shani and Moon are together, if Shani Dev and Moon are together, conjuncted, you will see that person runs into depression, especially during this Dasha of Shani Dev, loneliness, isolated and feel the weight of the world on their shoulder. Now what, what it means? These people start thinking that all the world is their responsibility and they become so depressed by looking at things happening around and they feel that they are responsible for everything. It's a good thing that, that we should feel the responsibility, but no much, no, not so much that you start taking the entire responsibility of the world on your shoulder because then you are carrying very heavy baggages then you don't move in life. So friends, this was all about uh, <clears throat> Saturn's Mahadasha, some rules that need to be followed to exactly know how this Dasha is going to give you result. Now, in continuation, I'm going to repeat the same thing in Hindi for my Hindi viewers. For the English viewers, for now, God bless you. Take care of yourself. Like this video, share this video and click on the notification bell icon as well. Thank you.